I played my last live show on March 7th with a band called Bell Systems that I'm part of. And I guess we didn't really realize at that moment, like, oh, this is it. Like, it was, it was a great show, but there was kind of like a feeling in the air because COVID was just starting. And then, you know, I haven't played a public facing show since. So, you know, and like a lot of people, the COVID times are very, make you nervous. You know, there's a lot of like angst and anxiety. Um, so I just decided that I was going to make a record here in my home studio. And uh, the kind of record I wanted to make was the kind of record I wanted to hear uh, to kind of make myself feel better. And I started that in May and I just uh, finished it with uh, help from John Wyman, Jonathan Wyman, uh, who I worked with a bazillion times. And it's the sequel, as, as fate would have it, 20 years ago, Popsicle Volume 1 came out. Um, and so this is volume two. The single that you had sent us, Thinking of You, um, I mean, it pretty much speaks for itself just in the title, but even in the music. But when you were writing this, were you sort of, through 2020, did you sort of feel more compelled to reach out to maybe friends and family that you hadn't spoken to in a while? Yeah, that's funny you should mention that. There's a lot of people that, you know, you try to catch up with. Um, like I have some friends from high school that I'm still, you know, very close with, but, you know, life. And uh, COVID made you slow down a little bit. So you actually had an opportunity to, to catch up with them. And then just, I guess, the thought of like not being able to just go visit easily all of a sudden made it like... You know, when you take it away, you're like, oh, I need that. Um, but yeah, certainly, yeah, reaching out to people. And, and, and not just like, not just far away friends you haven't uh, been in contact with a while. Just like, there's a lot of people you realize in a time like this, there's a lot of people in your life that you just, you just kind of see they're part of your life because of your life routine. And you take, they might not be like your best pals. They don't come over for Thanksgiving or whatever, but like they're a part of your life. And I, occasionally I, I, see, I see them like, you know, on the street, across the street with their mask on. I'm like there with my mask on being like, oh my God, how are you? <laughs> you, know? you talked about this a little bit, but music seems to be one of the hardest hit industries throughout this pandemic. And mm -hmm. you yourself, you haven't been able to go out and do shows. And we've reported on music venues that are so mm -hmm. important to people that have either had to close or, or were really close to closing. And, and are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And part of what you're doing to help is you're selling some merchandise that's going to help the Maine Music Alliance, which is huge for musicians right now. But tell me about some of that merchandise. Like many Mainers, I'm a big fan of Dr. Shaw's show, and I watch it uh, whenever he's on, whenever I can. And I had this idea to create uh, an I Heart Dr. Shaw shirt because he's just so kind and like, I mean, think about like the news he's delivering is not great, but he does it in a way that's like, okay, you know, it just kind of keeps it cool. And then as fate would have it, um, uh, a great photographer from Portland named Nicole Wolf took a photo of him. I was trying to think of how to turn it into a t-shirt. I'm not, I can, I, I'm not an artist per se. Like I can't just like bust that kind of stuff out. Uh, so she took these really great photos of Dr. Shaw and I reached out to her like, hey, would you mind here's my idea, you know, told her the idea that I heart Dr. Shaw shirt and whatever merchandise. And then uh, she connected us uh, with Dr. Shaw's camp because we wanted to do it with uh, their permission. You know, we're not going rogue. They can't endorse things, but like, uh, but we did get, uh, I was on an email chain with Dr. Shaw, which is like starstruck, pretty cool. Uh, and, uh, and Walter Craven, uh, a great uh, main musician artist, he's just, He's a Swiss Army knife, and he was able to render Nicole's photograph into a graphic. And at that time, I launched my store, and so my flagship uh, shirt is the I or shirt, totes, mugs, whatever, wherever you want to, uh, you know, show your support of Dr. Shaw, your appreciation of him. Uh, you can order it at MistakesWereMadeLLC.com, uh, and then yeah, all proceeds from that go to benefit uh, music venues who really need it. And you mentioned one of the biggest ways, if you want to show support for your favorite musician, just support them. Yeah, yeah. And, and it's kind of an, like, I'm, I'm a worker bee, so it's, it's weird. You don't want to sit here and, and say, like, help. But it's like, 
we can't play. Uh, you know, venues had to close first. They'll be the last to open. And as a result, my musicians, bartenders, sound guys, light guys, like people, sorry, not to be exclusive. Um, you know, all these folks that work in venues and around music can't work in, in their field. You know, Dominic Lavoie has a new album out. If you love Dominic, he's, he's a huge part of this, this community. You can or buy his album. That's the, the best thing you could do um, if you love music and local musicians, which I know a lot of your listeners do. Like music is a big part of your show. It always has been. So the best way, go seek out Kenya Hall. And if she has a, a buy my stuff button, buy her stuff. <laughs>